Eric Pooley, who wrote a book called The Climate War, I believe it was, your feature prominent in there, basically says that it was a failure of presidential leadership, that if President Obama wanted a deal and rolled up his sleeves, he could have got it through the Senate. Do you agree? <laughs> now you've gone from I put you in a tougher spot because uh, you're about to uh, co-chair the <laughs> Democratic National Convention in his in re-election Charlotte. bid. Yeah, so. <laughs> You know, you've gone from preaching to meddling um, (laughs) in terms of topics. Um, Let me address it in this way. A major effort was put into the health care bill. And in any single session of Congress, it's rare that two major pieces of legislation are passed in one session of Congress. So once the decision was made, to get health care bill passed first, yeah. first yeah. it reduced the probability significantly that there would be a second major piece of legislation. So that was a decision that was made by Congress or by the White House or by both, but nonetheless they made that choice. And so by definition, looking at history, they reduced the probability that a second piece of major legislation will get done. Actually, it was remarkable that we had, it, had the ability to get it out of the House. Mm-hmm. And we made progress in the Senate. So the short answer to your question is, is that President Obama and Congress made a decision to go first on health care, later on climate, and they recognized that the hill would be higher on climate because of this history of doing one major piece of legislation every congressional session. They thought they had the capability to do it. We thought we had the capability to get it done. If I had to do it all over again and I was king of the world, I would have urged the president go first on climate and come later on health care. That would have been my sequencing, but Hmm. that's way above my pay grade. 